Hi yogis, I'm Nicole, welcome to My Yoga Time. Today's class is suitable for everybody, though it's especially beneficial for those that are suffering anxiety or mild depression. So we're going to practice against the wall today. So move your mat close to the wall, the short end of your mat. I'll also be using a block, though if you don't have a block, you can always improvise with a rolled up towel instead. So let's begin. We're gonna start with our legs up against the wall. Make sure you can reach your block or your towel. So the easiest way to come in is to sit with one hip next to the wall and then bring your shoulders down as you swing your legs up. So a little bit of space between your hips and the wall is fine. If you're feeling overly tight through the hamstrings or the back, then you'll probably be more comfortable with a little more space. So once you've got your legs up, bend your knees, press your feet into the wall to lift your hips and place either your block or your towel underneath your lower back. So make sure it feels comfortable. If not, it could be a touch too high or too low. Once into position, just take the arms out to the side. Feel free to connect index finger and thumbs as we take chin mudra. Closing the eyes down. Allowing the forehead to soften. And the eyes to roll back. Placing the tip of the tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. Keeping space between the top and bottom teeth. So you'll feel the jaw is relaxed here. I'm feeling the breath moving over the back of the throat. As you inhale, allow the navel to rise. Allow the body to expand. At the top of the inhalation, hold the breath. Just for a moment or two, and then exhale very slowly. Feel the navel fall towards the spine. Continue to focus on the breath, moving the body. Remember to pause before each and every exhalation. The way that we feel is always reflected in the way that we breathe. And we can influence the way we're feeling by changing the way we're breathing. And that gentle little pause before you exhale sends a very powerful message to the nervous system to be calm. There's no need to default into the fight or flight mode. You might choose to keep the arms as they are by the side, or if it feels okay for your shoulders, you can take the arms up and overhead. Feel free to let the hands just land wherever they are or hold on to opposite elbows with the hands. And a sense now as though you're breathing into the whole body. Inhaling from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet and pause. Exhale from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. It's as though the breath is moving through the body in a wave-like motion. The inhalation creating space. 
in the sense of calm. Exhalation, washing away any tension in the body, any stress in the mind, or heaviness in the heart. Three more breaths here. See if you can witness all three breaths without the mind chatter distracting you. And after your third breath, lower the hands down if they're above the head, bend in the knees, press the feet into the wall to remove your block or your towel, and slowly lower down. When you touch down to the mat, bring the feet together, let the knees fall out wide. Hands can rest on the knees, on the belly, out to the side, or above the head once again. And take the breath into the hips, the thighs and the lower back. Again, observing the navel rise as you inhale. A moment to pause. And as you exhale, give in to gravity. One more breath. Let's bring those knees together now. Straighten your right leg. Coming into reclined pigeon, place your left ankle on the front of the right leg, either above the knee or below, depending on your hips. Here is option one, option two, Feel free to bend the right leg as well, sole of the foot coming to the wall. Make sure the bottom doesn't lift up off the mat, so keep pressing down through the towel bone. Little flexion in the left foot, little squeeze behind the knee. Only here for three breaths, breathing into the outer left hip. Pausing before you exhale. Tip of the tongue is still placed where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. And let's release this pose. If you have a block, place it in between your thighs. If you don't have a block, just have your rolled up towel on the right side and rest your right leg as you come down into your twist. If this left shoulder needs support, you could always place your towel under the shoulder or you can just bring the left arm down next to the body instead of having it out to the side. If the neck permits, you can turn your head gently to the left. And once again here, notice the navel expanding as you inhale and the lower back as well. So while we're here in this twist, I want you to find a longer exhalation. So to help with that, I'm going to count your next few breaths. But if you need to take a breath against my count, please do so. Do not strain. We're going to inhale for four, hold the breath for two, and exhale for six. So when you're ready, let's all breathe out together. 
and inhale one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, three more breaths. Feel free to maintain that count in your mind. With your next inhalation, prepare to bring the legs back to the wall. Before you do so, firm the lower belly to help support the back. Bring the legs back to the wall. Now if you have your block, just removing it, coming into recline pigeon on the right side. Right ankle to the front of the left leg, either above or below the knee. Here is option one. Option two, bending the left leg as well. Keep pressing down through the tailbone. A little squeeze behind the right knee. Three breaths into the outer right hip. And releasing that pose. Once again, if you have your block, take it in between the thighs. If no block, then just take your towel over to the left so that you can rest your left leg as you come down. Again, if that right shoulder's not happy, just place the hand next to the body. Otherwise, arms can extend out to the side. If there's no discomfort in the neck, head can fall to the right. And begin to breathe into the lower belly, the lower back, expanding as you inhale. And gently drawing in towards the spine as you exhale. I'll count your next two breaths, same as before. Let's breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Three more breaths to your count. From here, we'll roll onto the left side. You can remove the block if you have it in between the knees. Just taking a moment in the fetal position. You can use your left arm as a pillow. And then when you're ready, pushing yourself all the way up. Let's come onto all fours into tabletop position. So from here, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. As you inhale, come into a gentle back bend 
exhaling to round the spine. Now when you round the spine, try to slide the knees away from one another. Then as you inhale, let them be neutral, move into your back bend. Feel the heels of the palms turn in just a little. Exhale to round. Keep pressing into the pads of the fingers and allow the breath to initiate the movement. And we'll inhale for the last time. And then as you exhale, extend the arms in front, coming into your puppy pose. So option one, take the hands as wide as the mat, forehead coming down to the floor. Now if it's a bit of a reach, you can always place your towel or your block underneath the head. Option one, staying here with those arms reaching out in front, fingers spread wide. And if this is where you're staying, try to round the outer edges of the armpits down. From here, let's pick up the palms. So just your fingertips gripping into the mat and try to draw your shoulders back towards your hips. You can relax those palms down now, either staying here or bring the elbows a little bit closer. Hands coming into prayer above the head. And just feel the breath moving the upper body. Remember to pause before you exhale. One more breath. And then lower the hands down, lifting the head. Let's come down onto your navel. Take the arms out in front and take the feet as wide as the mat. So elbows are lifted off the floor. Try and tuck the tailbone under and then pull your hands back towards your hips so you feel all the muscles along the back and especially the upper back engage. Chin lift, throat forward. Inhale and then exhale, lower down. Take those hands underneath the shoulders now. As you inhale, lift the chest and the legs. Keep pressing the palms down. Try to squeeze the elbows back towards the ribs. Exhale, coming all the way down, forehead and feet to the mat. Keeping the tailbone tucking under. Inhale, lifting legs and the heart. Exhale to lower. We'll do two more. Squeezing elbows back. And coming all the way down. Take a brief moment, turning the head to one side, palms to face the ceiling. Hands underneath the shoulders now, pushing up to the knees. Inhale into your back bend. As you exhale, round the spine and then lift the hips up. Coming into your downward facing dog. From here, let's walk those feet up towards the top of the mat. Take the feet about hip width apart, then the knees, hold the elbows, ragdoll. So letting the head hang here, gravity is doing all the work. Knees are bending. If you can, maybe the belly can rest on the thighs. From here, start to squeeze your heels towards one another. Firm the lower belly. Ladies might like to lift pelvic floor here. Gents perineum muscle. Keep squeezing those heels in. Hold onto the elbows. As you inhale, bring the body halfway up so the spine is parallel to the floor. Keep holding the elbows. Let the arms hang. Squeeze the heels in. Lower belly firm. Inhale. Then as you exhale, fold forward and ha out the breath. Let's go again, squeeze the heels in, firm the lower belly, strong in the back, inhale, halfway up. <sighs> Exhaling down. Let's do three more. Let's 
last one well done lower hands down to the floor step your left leg back have both hands on the inside of the right foot now if your hips are tight you can always use your block if you have one underneath the hands otherwise hands to the floor let's lower that left knee down to the mat try to squeeze the feet towards one another draw the hands back as you reach the heart forward tip of the tongue is still placed where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. Option to keep that right foot pointing straight ahead, otherwise if your knees and hips permit, you can turn the right foot and knee out on a 45 degree angle. Make sure you squeeze in behind that right knee. Keep reaching the hands back, heart forward. Inhale. Point those right toes back to the front if they were turned out. Lift the left knee, walk your hands towards the left foot, coming into a wide-legged forward fold now. Turn the feet so the toes are slightly more narrow than the heels, your pigeon toe. Inhale, come halfway up. Try to flatten the back, lift the heart and the tailbone. Then exhale to fold. Two more. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling down. If it's available for you, walk the hands back just a little so that they're in line with the feet. Gently press those hands down and forward. Let the head hang, it should not be touching the floor. Be sure to lift the kneecaps and the arches of the feet. Inhale, and as you exhale, har out the breath. Two more, inhale and pause. Last one. Inhale, lift the torso halfway up. This time walk your hands towards your left foot. Coming into that same lizard pose that we did on the other side. Both hands are on the inside of the left foot, lower right knee down. Either keeping those left toes pointing straight ahead, otherwise turn the foot out on a 45 degree angle. Reach the hands back, heart forward. Let's turn those left toes back to the front, lift the right knee, walk the hands back, returning to your wide-legged forward fold. Toes are turned in slightly more narrow than the heels. Option one stays, we did before, hands on the floor. Option two, bring the hands to the low back, then interlace the fingers, straightening the arms. You can keep the heels of the palms apart. Let the head hang, reach the knuckles up towards the ceiling. Feel as though you're trying to stretch the mat with your feet, so they're gently pressing away from one another. Once again, let's take three out breaths through the mouth. Exhaling any heaviness in the body, in the heart. Exhaling anything that no longer serves for your highest good. Well done yogis, lower those hands down if they are overhead. Walk your hands back to the top of the mat coming into a lunge. Taking the right foot back, coming into a plank position, then lower the knees to the mat. Sitting back onto the heels, coming into child's pose. Forehead to the mat, or you can always use your hands to support the head. Or you can bring the hands next to the feet, palms facing the ceiling. Of course, if there is any discomfort in your knees or your back here, you can just lay flat on your belly and turn your head to one side. 
Wherever you are, feel the body rise as you inhale. A moment to pause before you exhale. And then inhaling, coming all the way back up. So we're going to recline into an upper back bend. I'll be using my block, but you can also use your rolled up towel for this one. So we want to position the block just at the bottom of the shoulder blades. So block would be here, or if you're using your towel, it will be there. If you have two blocks, you might like to use one to support the head or uh, if you've got just the towel, you should be fine with nothing underneath the head. So when you're ready, reclining down, prop is at the base of the shoulder blades, not in the middle part of the back. Allow the head to come down, arms out to the side. Now, if your lower back is catching your awareness here, keep those knees bent. Otherwise, feel free to straighten and relax the legs. If it's too intense on your block, you can always use a towel, which is a little bit lower. Feel free to connect index finger and thumbs here again, taking chin mudra. As you close the eyes down, relax the forehead. Letting the eyes roll back. Tip of the tongue is still placed where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. And bring your awareness to your heart center. Breathe into this space. When the visualization comes easy for you, you might like to visualize an illuminous white light at the heart center. Bright white light. And with each inhalation, this light expands a little further. The light expanding to meet the perimeter of the ribs. Eventually moving to the collarbones and down to the hips. And white light moving down the legs to the tips of the toes. And down the arms to the fingertips. Ascending to the crown of the head. And the body is light. Lightness, light. One more breath into the heart center. And when you're ready to release the pose, bring the hands down next to the body, bending in the knees. If you're on the towel, you might just roll off to one side. Otherwise, tucking in the chin, coming halfway up to seat and remove your prop. And recline once again. Take a brief moment with the feet wide, knees falling into touch, hands to place on the belly. And feel the meeting points between the back side of the body and the mat. Acknowledge any newfound space. Breathe into this space. Let's bring those feet a little closer together now. Pick up the hips and move them over to the left side of the mat. We're bringing the body into a banana shape. Straighten the legs and take your feet over to the right side of the mat. If there's no discomfort in the shoulders, arms go above the head, also over to the right side. You can hold onto the hands or the elbows. If there is any discomfort in a shoulder here, just lower that arm back down next to the body. 
If you want to go deeper, cross left ankle over the right. Be sure to keep the hips level. Left buttock stays on the mat. And here for just a few breaths, breathing down the left side waist. Allowing the breath to press away any lines of tension. Always pausing before you exhale. One more breath here. And then lowering the hands down, uncrossing the legs if they're crossed. Let's change sides straight away. Hips lift and move over to the right side of the mat. Straighten the legs, take the feet over to the left. Arms over to the left. Option to cross right ankle. and continue to witness the breath moving the body. The mind will wander and that's okay. Just catch it early with a smile and guide it back to the breath. One more breath here. And when you're ready, bringing the body back to the center of the mat, coming into Shavasana. Taking up as much space on the mat as you need to. Turning the palms to face the ceiling. Before we come into final relaxation, I'd like you to run a wave of tension through the body three times. Okay, so inhale and as you do, squeeze every muscle. Make fists with your hands, screw up your face, your buttocks, any muscle you can tighten, tighten. Hold for as long as is comfortable. And then as you exhale, relax, let everything go. Two more, let's inhale and tighten. <sighs> exhale and let it go. Last one. <sighs> now softening the forehead. Letting the eyes roll back. Tongue and jaw are soft. You might let the fingers naturally curl 
or feel free to connect index finger and thumbs once again. And as you drift into Shavasana, inhaling peace, exhale release. Inhaling peace. Exhale, release. And begin to inhale a little deeper now as you guide your awareness back. Swallowing if the mouth is dry. Wiggling toes and fingers. And stretching if the urge arises. And when you're ready, roll onto your preferred side. Take a moment in the fetal position. And when you're ready, bring yourself all the way up to seated. I hope you're feeling better after your class. Let's bring those hands to prayer and closing the eyes down. Raise the hands to the third eye center for clarity of thought. Fingertips lower to the lips for purity and honesty in our speech. And hands to the heart center for love and compassion in all that we do. Namaste. Thanks yogis. I really hope that you enjoyed the class and please remember that the way that you feel is often reflected in the way that you breathe. So remember to watch your breath throughout the day and take a moment to pause at the top of the inhalation before you exhale. It sends a very quick, powerful message to the nervous system. So once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. If so, please subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to support free yoga on YouTube. Have a lovely day.